Frequent flyers fly, la 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 la. Frequent flyers bat. What's up? You checking out the Frequent Flyer? Welcome back to the channel. Smash the like button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, I'd like to extend a warm welcome. I'm back out here at the park. Today is Wacky Wednesday, y'all. And so I'm out here with another quad, another little mini drone, micro drone. And this guy is kind of wacky, I guess you can say. <laughs> I guess you can call this uh, sort of like on the fly review. Because uh, this thing is new to me. I got this off Amazon. This thing is called the Tongali Volcano. And so <laughs> it is a quadcopter. It uh, folds down. These little, uh, it, well, it's in a kind of like a ball shape now. But these uh, little pieces here fold down. And this thing becomes a quadcopter with this little volcano shape right here on top. And I guess that's where they got the name volcano from and it lights up because that's the power button and that's a light. This thing on the front is not a light. I'm guessing they have a camera version. Judging by what's on the transmitter, the transmitter buttons are labeled with icons and there is a video camera button here. Looks like a video camera icon there and a a normal camera there the icon is there so I'm guessing that this thing does come in a camera version and the camera would be there but since this is not the camera version there's just this clear piece of plastic that looks like a light that is not a light now the Sun is over that direction now so that's why it's a lot of shadows over here right now so I apologize for this angle that I'm on but all these trees out here make it Hard to find a spot that's not really shaded or whatnot or shadowed out but anyhow quite a few buttons on this transmitter here I found that most of them are normal buttons though like the, these are the trims here in the middle just awkward placement of them and I did have to assemble this uh, transmitter kind of I had to put this little antenna piece on here but there's no actual antenna in there so just for looks I guess but that did have to be added it was like an open hole there and we have the speed button here on the left shoulder and this is the flip button on the right shoulder and what else these two buttons don't do anything this button right here is for headless mode and the headless mode holds the position or the heading that the quadcopter is facing when you press this and this button here is the takeoff and landing button and these two buttons I couldn't find to do anything couldn't find out what these buttons do it just beeps when I press these buttons and they don't do anything not even fly backwards down the heading or anything like that uh, you know the uh, little uh, fake return to home buttons it doesn't have that function either so I don't know what these buttons are they don't do anything maybe they're uh, Y'all trims, I'm, I'm not sure. These icons definitely don't represent that they're trims though because these icons with the arrows are usually the icons for trims. But anyhow, the joysticks don't press in. So no extra button on the joysticks there. And it does take three AAA batteries in the transmitter. And it takes a normal uh, Losi style connector LiPo 1S inside this battery bay here and so I guess that's all there is to show you and explain about this guy as far as uh, the features and everything that it has and what's on the transmitter but I will say that I have flown this indoors and it flies pretty nice it has three rates and I want to say that uh, the lights are kind of weird on it so no really good night flying I don't think because there's no heading light no light there in the front or whatnot and the lights on the side are just like different colors like you have red on one side blue on the other side and you know no really no real uniform 
way of telling your orientation of the quad or whatnot. And so uh, no night flying for this one. It does have a pretty bright light on the top, that volcano thing, but that wouldn't help you at uh, night trying to keep orientation or anything like that. As for the way that it flies, I did find that this thing does suffer from a little vortex ring state when I'm uh, applying the yaw. I couldn't really bank turns fast in the house, but I'm thinking maybe it might change out here with a little more space. Might be able to bank some turns out here, but anyhow, let's get this guy up in the air. Enough of me running my mouth. I did explain pretty much what this thing has to offer, so let's check it out. Okay, so these fold down like that. It does have two positions there and there. Clicks twice. And so this volcano thing is the power button. We have a power button right here on this. And we go up and down on the transmitter to bind it to the quadcopter there. And so this would be nice if this was the front, but this is actually the side. <laughs> so let's go up with it. So immediately the one that's trying to take it, I'm pulling back as hard as I could. I couldn't do anything, had to go into second rate. A very mild breeze out here, but this thing doesn't have a lot of pitch on the first rate. So let me see if I can show you guys the first rate. Back to first rate, this is the yaw, really slow. Not enough pitch to really fight against the wind to bring it back to me. That's side flying there. Okay, let's bring it back to second rate. So I can get it back closer to us. Let's look at the yaw. So that's the yaw, a little better. Okay, so this is side flying. Here. So not bad pitch in y'all, whatnot. This is fourth flight here. Okay, we're in third rate now. Let's look at the y'all. So the y'all gets a lot better now. Look, going down from some funnels. Okay, let's do side flying here. Kind of losing altitude. I forgot to mention that this thing does have self-centering on the throttle because it does have altitude load. So let's try a funnel with it. Oh, it loses altitude on the funnel. I guess it's a little heavy. <laughs> Fighting to got, get this guy back stable. Let's try a flip before we lose the ability to do so. Sheesh, I had this. Give it some throttle to keep it in the air. Let's try it again. Okay, I gave it throttle as I was doing the flip. Sheesh! <laughs> Vortex ring state. Let's see if we can fly around with it a little bit. So, can't really do a lot of sporty flying with this guy. It suffers from vortex ring state when you're doing your turns. But it does fly though. Check it out. So let's try the headless mode. I'm gonna press the headless mode button now. Okay, so it's flashing now and it's in headless mode. Check it out. Flying to the right. Still applying y'all, flying to the left, coming back to myself. So headless mode does work. Let's come out of headless mode. I'm not sure if it'll fly backwards down the heading if I hold the button. Got this guy with this little motorbike over here, having fun. Let's see if I hold this button down, does it fly backwards down the heading? Yep, that's exactly what it does. Check it out. <laughs> so if you hold the headless mode button down for about three seconds, it activates that 
return to home thing that just flies backwards down the heading doesn't really return to home and so that's all the features this thing has kind of a gimmick that it folds and all but I guess that could uh, allow you to store it in a smaller space I guess and then you can pull it out and unfold it when you're ready to fly but it does sacrifice performance for it to be compact but it is flying though I am having to apply the throttle a lot to keep it in the air so it might seem like it's not really doing bad but I am giving it a lot of throttle pressing up on the throttle stick keeping the altitude up whenever I do some yaw some turns or anything it just goes down Let's see that's what it's doing on its own as far as holding altitude let me bring it down a little okay so it holds altitude pretty well I'm not doing anything with the throttle but as soon as I apply y'all it starts to drop a little well, here it's holding its position its height pretty well there but I'm guessing it's just on bank turns I guess so when you apply y'all and try to fly in a direction that's when it goes down Oh man, we went a little too far down. <laughs> and it completely flipped over. So let's try to take off with it again. It seems like it recalibrates as soon as it crashes and you flip it back over. All the lights start flashing and all. Let's try to take off again. Okay, so. Seems like it's a pretty decent flight time surprisingly <laughs> with all the vortex ring state that it's suffering from it does fly stay in the air for a long time oh man it's trying to go down on me <laughs> you can barely see that volcano thing lighting up out here in the light but Jeez, I thought it was about to land it is flashing Okay, let's try to, oh, it just went down fast there. Let me see if I can land it in my hand. I'm struggling to try to bring it up. It won't go up, and it's going down. Okay, it's acting weird. It's at LVC, though. Let me see if I can stop it. Okay, so... <laughs> the Tongli Volcano. Ah, I would think that I would uh, tell you guys to stay clear of this one. <laughs> Unless you just really like the fact that this thing folds up and you don't mind that it loses altitude a lot when you're flying it around. You can't really fly it sporty. But I guess you can fly this guy really slow just hovering it in the air indoors or whatnot. It seems like if a lot of wind comes along, you're not going to, well, not a lot of, I guess a lot of wind will be a, a, a problem for any drone of this size. But if you get like a mild wind or whatnot, you can't fly on the lower rates. You're going to have to go straight to the third rate. So I would say that this guy is mainly for indoors probably and just a gimmick. And so I will steer clear of this one unless you really like the idea that it folds and all. So the Tongli Volcano, Wacky Wednesday, Frequent Flyer signing out. Thanks for watching.